a rough go of it for Pittsburgh between the suspensions, injuries, and lackluster defense. Over the weekend, the Bills quarterbacks combined to complete 30 of 33 passes for 386 yards and three touchdowns in a 43-19 win over the Steelers. In case you didn't know, Tyrod Taylor named the starting quarterback there. We're focusing on Pittsburgh. It's not looking so hot for them right now. In the last four years, their defense has gone from first in the league to their worst since 2002. Ryan Clark, you played eight of your final nine years in the league with Pittsburgh, one Pro Bowl, one Super Bowl. You didn't win a Pro Bowl, <laughs> excuse me. I went though. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, in a Pro Bowl, Super Bowl. Will the Steelers make the playoffs? This hurts me, Skip. I'm really, I'm really, really trying to get away from my heart. Because my heart says, as long as Mike T's there, and yeah. some of those guys that are, you know, Joey Porter's coaching now, and I love the organization and the Rooney family. So I want to say the Steelers will get in. But they're not. Not this year. I admire your honesty. And I, and, and I fought with it. After we left the meeting this morning, you know, I, I went and I looked. And I tried, to, I tried to finagle them in. I was like, well, if this happens, yep. they could get in. Ben Roethlisberger is going to be great this year. Mm -hmm. Le'Veon Bell, he's going to be a fantasy stat stuffer. Antonio Brown, for me, pound for pound, is the best wide receiver in the NFL. Pouncy out for up to 10 weeks. You lose Troy, you lose Ike, and I know people are talking about the, the way that they weren't playing well, and I get that. They were still, you know, ranked in the high teens last year defensively, Brett Kiesel, but you've lost all that leadership on defense, and then you lose the head man in Dick LeBeau. Mm -hmm. So now you're retooling and rebuilding a defense, not only without certain pieces on the field, but you're trying to rebuild that defense without pieces in the meeting rooms, in the buildings devising these plans and what really scares me is it, the preseason it's a dress rehearsal for everyone it's a dress rehearsal for coaches for players week three this is the week you scheme this is the week you watch film this is the week you game plan mm -hmm. you want to go into this game saying okay this is who we are going to try to be during the regular season i was there in the meetings coach tomlin is working with these guys and having a hand in some of the defenses that they will be playing but the thing about that now you have to learn a new scheme defensively defensive backs have to learn something different from what they've been doing and when ej manuel comes out completes his first two passes one for a 69 yard touchdown to charles clay i have an issue with that ej's a great guy yeah i'd vote for him for governor Mm -hmm. But he, I wouldn't vote for him for my quarterback. Yep. So for him to have guys running wide open against a Pittsburgh Steeler defense, that concerns me. You also look at it. Bryant, he's going to miss the first four games. Le'Veon Bell, he misses the first two. Now you have to integrate those guys back into the offense. Is there enough to step up in those games when you don't have Marquise Pouncey, who's not only one of the best centers in the NFL, he's a leader on that team, one of the smartest guys, one of the hardest working guys that they have there. And they do have people around, but it just seems like things are falling apart. When you lose two kickers yeah. to injuries, like it's not meant to in the, be. In yeah. the preseason, mm. it's tough because kicking in Pittsburgh, it's difficult. And Sean Sweeson had mastered it. He yeah. got to the point where he was almost automatic playing with it in that stadium in Heinz Field. So I'm just now really scared. Now, they got a pretty good one in Josh Kobe. I they thought, did. Yeah. They, they traded for Josh Kobe. He's been, he was five of six in his career in Pittsburgh. He's also not played a lot of games in November mm -hmm. and December <laughs> in Pittsburgh. That's true. But for me, everybody else right now has gotten too good. Baltimore Ravens is my pick right now to okay. win the AFC North. You got to look at teams like Miami, who's playing really well right now. Ryan Tannehill is taking the step. The Jets are better. The Bills are better. San Diego Chargers, you signed Phillip Rivers back, I think they'll yeah. be a better team. So I feel like the other teams are going to be too good to allow this Pittsburgh Steelers team to get into the playoffs this year. Wow. I'm, I'm shocked you took that stance. I'm proud of you, but I'm shocked. I didn't think you'd go that way. In the meeting, you said you needed time to think about it. I'm going to finagle your X team into the playoffs. Well, way I, to kill me, Skip. Okay, no, well, I, I know. Back I'm just going to make you look terrible. <laughs> but, look, this is a big year for Mike D, as you said, Mike Tomlin. I'm not saying he's on any hot seat because he's not. No. But this is a new deal, new dawn, new era, no Dick LeBeau. Mike Tomlin, by stock and trade, is a defensive coordinator, and I believe, even though he's elevated, you know, he's the new defensive force. He, he's, he's the mastermind now. 
He's going to be mostly in those meetings, focusing all of his attention, not that he didn't in the past, on defense. But when you have Dick LeBeau, you can only force so much Sit because it's, at some point you say, I you're, defer. You're the legend. You're the legend. Yes, sir. Legend's gone. The offense is going to be just fine. I realize no Le'Veon, no Martavis for, for X Games, but they will come back. And D'Angelo Williams is still pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I know he's just a kid, but Sammy Coates is pretty good. I, I yeah, liked him a lot in college at Auburn. He made big plays in big games, and he's going to be called upon to step up a little quicker here. But I think he will. And Antonio is just flat out. He's just, he's just that guy, yeah. and he will be that guy. Now, he's got more pressure on him in the first couple of games, but that's okay. He, he'll, the, the offense is going to be top three in the league. Mm -hmm. So it comes back to defense. I think they had one of those nights that went from bad to worse, and it is because of a new scheme. And once it went south, it went all the way south on dress rehearsal night. I'm not going to take that game to my bank yet because I still think there's enough talent left on defense. Hayward, Tua, and Timmons, and you know all that. James Harrison's still there and got some pop left and, in him. And definitely Shamarco Thomas stepping you know in for, for Troy. He's a flat-out baller. He's Is fast, he? I, he I don't tackle. know much about him. Yeah, so yeah. I, the, the pieces player-wise mm -hmm. are there physically. I just, How about I see, I William I Gay and Cortez coming. Allen? at the corners. I, I See, don't know enough I, about him. At, at the corner, William Gay took a huge step last year, had three interception returns for touchdowns. I think he's finally stepped into that leadership ship role there. Uh, Antoine Blake, I think, will be a guy who plays more than Cortez Allen because okay. he got his opportunity last year. Still, with those guys learning a new system, and they, as good as they played last year, they still were eight, the, the corners, they still were 18. Lawrence Timmons, has a little injury last week. That also has something to do Dude. with the way that they played against the Buffalo Bills. I just think with changing the scheme, with changing the coach, Keith Butler in his first year calling plays uh, in Pittsburgh and, and having to go in and call plays differently than what you've seen your last seven, eight years in Pittsburgh, I just think it's going to be a tough transition. And the loss of Marquise Pouncey for that long it's huge. is still I, huge. I don't uh, disagree. To this day, I believe we win the Super Bowl if Marquise Pouncey plays against the Green Bay Packers. Wow. He was that integral to the team. He was that important. He did that much as a rookie. And it's only increased year by year. So it's not a it's not me knocking the Pittsburgh Steelers and saying that they don't have good players because they do. They probably have better players overall as a team than we had in some of the years mm -hmm. that we went to Super Bowls or won the AFC North. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if the puzzle pieces fit together right now to make this a playoff team in what I think is going to be a highly competitive AFC North and also AFC division as a whole. I believe the division has gotten better. Top to bottom. All to right. make the playoffs, they might have to win this division. Could and I'll, that would require me to pick them to win this division to make the playoffs. And that what you're doing? I'm there at this moment, but I reserve the right, right. to change my opening day. <laughs> I've heard that before on this show. So Skip has them barely in. Ryan not going with his heart, and he's saying barely out. Question marks with the Steelers. My question mark, do I take Le'Veon Bell with the second pick in the draft, even though he's you, suspended? You take him whenever you can. Okay. <laughs> also, question marks with the Buckeyes who play Monday. They have still not named a starting quarterback. What's going on at The Ohio State University? We'll tell you in just a few.